Yeah, g'day, scrappers. It's John from the Scrap Metal Manning Toffs. How are you all? It's been a while. Oh, sorry about that. I've been a bit busy with stuff that's been going on at home and work and all that sort of stuff. Yesterday was Sunday. Uh, and, yeah, our wise Cross Harbour City Council is cancelling all the bulky goods or, like, you know, the street cleanups, all that sort of stuff that we do, the hard waste, whatever you want to call it. Um... I went for a little bit of a travel around down a little town called Yurunga. Spent the majority of the day there. Mainly got a lot of non-ferrous metals. There wasn't a lot of e-waste or anything like that. A lot of crappy e-waste like kitchen kettles and jugs and everything that you got to deal with. But cut the cord, leave the rest, basically. That's what we do. Um, in the vacuum cleaners, the amount you pay to get rid of the plastic and all that sort of stuff, guys. They're not even worth doing. If you can get to the motor, cool. I don't even bother with the microwaves. They're great, but the amount of drama that goes on, people come out and start yelling, screaming at you, and because we run a business and our vehicle sign written, we try not to do it too often, but just out of curiosity, I went and had a look and went and had a bit of a, a scavenge, let's say. Um, it's quite successful. I'll show you a little bit later on what the yield was like, but I'll jump out of the truck at the moment. And I'll let you have a look and see what we've got on board. Oh, well, a quick look. Here we go, guys. Majority of the stuff's aluminium, as you can see. But a few car batteries, a bit of stainless ironing, domestic aluminium, a bit of ironing. Lots of extruded, lots of demo extruded. Um, few old screen doors, a couple of containers there that I picked up just for bits and pieces. A bit of stainless steel. There's a stainless steel sink there. What else have we got? Oh, an AC unit, which was the only one for the day, which is quite surprising. The hot water and hot water unit and the washing machine, they are a paid pickup job. We do do that sort of stuff, guys. A couple of kids' scooters. Couple of oars for keep life. I'm gonna chuck them up out the back in under our veranda. Uh, a few crutches. <laughs> Anyone got a broken leg that needs a set of crutches? Uh, just joking, guys. Cut them up for scrap. Yeah, that's basically the yield. There was one catalytic converter on the side of the road. Lots of PVC that we cut. But yeah, I'll let you have a look later on. There's a bit of a planter stand there. Just gonna pull that out and chuck it in the garden at home. The wife's into bromeliads and. Um, what are they called? Succulents and all that sort of stuff. So, try and keep her happy if I find anything decent that she can use. Chuck that in. Okay, my name's John. I'm from the Scrap Metal Man in Coffs Harbour. Just remember, if it's made out of metal and it's in your way, call John, the Scrap Metal Man today. We pick up all types of scrap metal. Um, we recycle all types of scrap metal, but for smaller pickups, there is a service fee. It ranges from $22 to $59. So yeah, anything that you need guys, give me a call. Free removal for any items over a ton. Our little nifty carring that's here. It'll do the job for us. The Maxi Lift 350 will lift 2.2 2 .2 ton in close to the truck. So nice and close to the truck here, it'll lift 2.2 .2 ton. So we're pretty well established to do a lot of stuff. And then it'll lift 550 at full extension of 6.75 metres. So guys, anything that we can help you with? My name's John. I'm from the Scrap Metal Man in Coffs Harbour. 0415 54 0055 or www.thescrapmetalman.com.au Once again guys, John from the Scrap Metal Man. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Look forward to hearing what you've got to say. Cheers, guys. Enjoy.